Okay, this is a two-part tutorial on how to get your mic working and how to get rid of the feedback loop. So first, make sure your mic and your headphone jack is plugged in. Then you want to go down to the bottom right and click on the little uh, speaker icon and open up the sound manager. All right, And you'll get this nice little window for the real tech. And you're going to click on the mixer and you'll see all the controls that you need there. Uh, unfortunately, it's in playback what you're going to be looking for. You want to click on the little buttons on the tiny little arrows on the right until you get over there. Then underneath the front pink uh, input, you're going to see these little, little dots. Click on that and click on the microphone boost and OK. That should get your microphone actually working. Then you can adjust the volume as you see fit. Uh, before that, you won't see anything. I mean, you're headphone sucks before that and make sure that when you click on the audio out you have your mic and headphones in the proper place like mine otherwise I'm not sure this will work part two this is how to get rid of the feedback loop first you're going to go up and click on my computer and that will open up of course your regular window you want to click on on the left side the control panel and then you want to get your sound open uh, this is your sound and audio devices. All right. So, and of course, you have all your different selections at the top. You want to choose audio first and click on the volume controls. This will open up a little volume controls you're going to use later. But right now, this will show you what to do. You want to uh, go over to voice. And down underneath the mic symbol, you're going to see test hardware. On test hardware, it'll open up the wizard, the hardware test wizard. You want to click next, it'll do its thing while it's trying to figure out what kind of hardware you have open. And then after that, it'll open up a window. Now, if you followed part one, you should actually see levels on the left, but I have my mic on mute right now to show you the feedback. So you click on next, and you'll see there's no movement whatsoever because my mic is on mute. But if I just go up and I click a little bit of audio, just get an error message of some kind, you get this really, really annoying feedback that keeps going in a cycle. And to get rid of that horrible noise, go back down to that other window, you go to that other window you opened up earlier, line volume, under line volume and stereo mix, you click the mute buttons. And then everything will turn back to normal. Then, of course, with the mute off, you can see the volume little meters going up and down the way they're supposed to go, rather than going crazy. All right, so I uh, hope this helps, and uh, have a nice day.